Some serious side effects of pantoprazole. Acute interstitial nephritis. Pantoprazole-induced acute interstitial nephritis is an increasingly known complication. This condition has been observed in patients taking any other proton pump inhibitors such as omeprazole. Acute interstitial nephritis is a type of renal injury usually associated with a sudden deterioration in renal function associated with inflammation and edema of the renal interstitium. It is triggered by a hypersensitivity immune reaction to the drug or one of its metabolites. Acute interstitial nephritis generally develops after an average period of two to four weeks of drug therapy in rare cases. If this condition has been developed, it is recommended to discontinue the treatment with pantoprazole. Vomiting, loin pain, leukocytes or eosinophils in urine and oliguria are the characteristic symptoms of acute interstitial nephritis. Clostridium difficile associated diarrhea Pantoprazole who may be associated with an increased risk of clostridium difficile associated diarrhea, particularly in hospitalized patients. Gastric acid act as a barrier to ingested bacteria and prevent bacterial growth. Pantoprazole therapy intensely inhibits gastric acid production allowing the proliferation of spores and their ability to convert to a vegetative form of Clostridium difficile. Vegetative form of Clostridium difficile survives in conditions of gastric pH greater than 4. Bone fracture Pantoprazole therapy may be associated with an increased risk for osteoporosis-related fractures. Patients taking high multiple daily doses and long-term pantoprazole therapy, a year or longer are at higher risk of developing fractures. Patients are advised to use the lowest dose and shortest duration of pantoprazole therapy suitable for the underlying condition. Cutaneous lupus erythematosus, CLE, and systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE, have been reported in patients taking pantoprazole. CLE has been observed within weeks to years after starting therapy with pantoprazole. The incidence of SLE is less as compared to CLE in patients receiving pantoprazole. SLE induced by pantoprazole is usually milder than non-drug induced SLE. SLE may be observed within days to years after starting therapy with pantoprazole in rare cases. Incidence of lupus can be identified by rash, joint pain and reduction in mature blood cells. Patients are advised to avoid the administration of pantoprazole for longer period than advised by physician. Discontinue pantoprazole use and consult the physician, if any signs or symptoms consistent with CLE or SLE are noted. Most patients improve within 4 to 12 weeks after discontinuation of pantoprazole, cyanocobalamin, vitamin B12, deficiency. Daily treatment with pantoprazole over a long period of time may lead to malabsorption of cyanocobalamin, vitamin B12. It may be observed 3 years after initiation of treatment with pantoprazole. Hypomagnesemia Hypomagnesemia has been reported rarely in patients treated with pantoprazole after three months of initiation of therapy. Serious hypomagnesemia may be associated with intermittent muscular spasm, arrhythmias and seizures. Such patients require magnesium replacement and discontinuation of the pantoprazole. Continuous monitoring of magnesium level is required for patients who are on long-term pantoprazole therapy and simultaneously taking digoxin or diuretics. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos.